big pet peeves for me is whenever I'm going and I'm cleaning, I got fucking, you know, 50 pounds of chicken to clean, and then I don't have enough Ziplocs, really gonna jerk me off. All right, doing some grocery shopping today, taking you all on the trip. It's a big one that people's been asking about. Uh, so we're gonna do some nutrition stuff and do my grocery store trips. So I shop in a number of different places for a number of different reasons. Uh, right now, uh, we, we live out in the country a little bit further away from town now. So uh, Sam's Club trips are at a high priority. Got the two, two little girls, Hannah and I. So we stock up on all the non-perishable things. Buy bigger bulk there. Uh, they do have some decent meat, not, not the greatest. Um, big on, you know, hormone-free antibiotic meats. Um, so get some stuff from there, anything that looks good or anything that we want to dabble in or try new stuff. I usually get my chicken um, at one of the markets in lo a local market or uh, the chicken pound. That's a, that's a good thing to check out for convenience. They, um, uh, they send you, I mean, the chicken is fire. It's hormone-free, antibiotic-free, high-quality chicken, comes marinated, cooked, perfect, crazy great flavors. So I also get that sent to me uh, like once a month, and I eat the fuck out of that. But it's great for convenience. A little expensive, but, um, you know, whenever you need something easy, it's a great option. So, but here, Sam's Club, it's like Costco if anybody doesn't know what it is. I don't know if it fits in other parts of the country. Uh, but they usually have also some pretty good fruit. Um, and Adeline, myself, and Hannah, uh, Emmy as well, but we do the shakes in the morning, protein shakes in the morning. Uh, that's how I start my day. And depending on what I'm training, whether it's a high calorie or low calorie, we'll get into that later. Um, but you know, fresh fruit in the shakes, sometimes we do frozen fruits. Um, and then just fresh fruit in, in general and fresh greens in general, those are big staples in our home. We get them here. Um, and all the lunch stuff that we just stock up on. Uh, this is one thing, me personally, uh, I was never able to do very much of because this hits the fucking budget pretty hard. Doing a Sam's Club trip, Walmart, and then my meat, my meat shopping. Uh, and make sure you got fresh produce a good bit. Fresh produce is expensive. But this Sam's Club trip, it costs a good bit of money. It puts a, it puts a dent in your, uh, in your account. But for me in this position that I'm in, it's really nice because it's the convenience. It's the, it's the ability to make sure that I always have everything at the house stocked. I have a routine where I go get everything. Um, and yeah, I like it. Because previously, it's a little tough to do because this will be you know a few hundred dollars here, a couple hundred dollars at Walmart, and then my meat. And that's ex it's expensive shit. But uh, bodybuilding is an expensive lifestyle and having children is expensive. Uh, Fucking food is my biggest. Food is by far, is by far my highest bill. So, but that's the price you pay and that's why I hustle, but then I also enjoy it. So, little tidbits for some nutritional information for everyone. Um, a lot of people, the animal does that thing called big on a budget for like 70 or 100 bucks. You know, I'm the chicken and rice king. Whenever you're on a budget and you can't afford to do like organic, hormone-free, antibiotic-free chicken, because it's $6.99 a pound, like, okay, so here's the thing that you have to kind of weigh out. You're going to have to eat that lesser valued chicken. I did for fucking years. I still do. You know, I don't eat the best of chicken all the time. And if you're on a budget, that's something that you have to work into. Are you gonna die from eating that chicken? No. But is it the best, highest quality? No, but that's okay, all right? So if you're getting big on a budget, rice, potatoes, noodles, carbohydrate sources, uh, your, your meat, chicken, and you gotta find it on sale. Bro, when I was, I still do it to this day because I have a problem paying a certain amount of money per pound for chicken. Uh, there's three different grocery stores in, in, uh, in town that have chicken that do different sales. Sometimes it's $1.99 a pound. When it's $1.99 a pound, I buy 50 fucking pounds. I go home, I clean it, get the Ziplocs, put them in freezer bags, freeze them, put them into like three or four pound increments in Ziplocs, and that's how I do things. 
that's the, that's something that you have to work into your budget that will save you money over time, but also have to be able to manage your, your money. So if you're younger or you're trying to make sure everything fits on a budget, me, I, I would plan everything out based on the sales that would come in the, the flyers every week. Potatoes, sometimes you can get a 10 pound bag of potatoes for fucking two ninety nine. If you're getting big on a budget, you're eating a lot of fucking potatoes that week, bro. <laughs> So those are the things, like, and I, I know where rice is the cheapest. I know at Walmart, I get rice cheaper at Walmart. You can go get bulk rice down in the strip district at the, at the Asian uh, markets, crazy cheap. But you have to buy 35 fucking pounds. So those are things that we all, that you need to take into consideration and just do the take the time to figure it all out. Me, I have found my process of everything, of like I said, Sam's Club, non-perishables they got great produce in here a lot of it we like having that do this do the walmart trip and then the uh and then go to the market for the meats it's real simple it takes time today we're doing it during the day which is nice for me because i don't know this is my job today so uh but we'll take you in we'll show you what i do and uh that's it you know everybody makes fun of me about Washing down these handles. When I was in college, we did a we did a microbiology class. We went and swabbed everything. These were the second dirtiest things that we tested. So I wipe these things down every time. They make you feel like you need to buy a TV every time you come in here. Like yours isn't good enough at home. Like look at that. That's eight twenty nine. What a deal, right? Look at that. Seventeen hundred bucks for that. It's a pretty nice TV. QLED, that's a new thing, huh? So we gotta get all the stuff for the kids. We gotta get everything. Uh, I'm pretty simple, chicken, rice, all the basic shit. This is pretty much kids and all the other stuff in life. These things are the greatest snack in the world. I remember getting high as fuck in college, eating these, playing video games, and lifting weights. That's how I got huge and a little bit of chubby. But uh, good snack to have in the house. More snacks. Baked chips. So in the kids' lunches, you know, obviously the healthy, the healthy uh, portion lunch. Uh, so we got, you know, either a sandwich or some type of item. Adeline likes to do soup, um, usually soup or salads. And every morning I wake up, make that, do, do whatever it is. So we got soup or salad or sandwich and then they get at least one piece of fruit and then they get some type of yogurt and then usually like a cheese stick and then some type of chip and then some type of uh, sweet and Adeline has like the skinny gene where that kid just burns through fucking anything that kid could sit down and eat like a ton of those oatmeal the oatmeal cookie things the smush cookies and like won't gain a pound Emmy's got my jeans. She's a little, 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 little chubby on her, so she can't do the same. So uh, we just make sure that, you know, we make healthy choices, but also got to make sure that they enjoy their childhood. So careful with the snacks with them. Uh, but that's pretty much it with that. So we go through, get everything. Yogurt sticks are big. Um, cups of yogurt. Yep. It's a healthy lunch. But this, whenever you're choosing everything, everybody's got different taste buds, and that was the best... Uh, the chips, chippies. These are my snacks. These are my fat kid loves. Cheez Its. Horrible for you. What do you think the ratio is of like the candy bar aisle and this shit of people that like buy it for a business compared to like buying it for their own home? Like boxes of fucking candy bars. I mean, I know why my fat ass would buy this entire giant. Six pound bag of gum. <laughs> I, I hope to God people don't like buy a fucking huge box of candy bars and like keep it for themselves. I feel like goes to an office or something. Do you think people actually do that? Do I? Yeah, do you. Absolutely. This is America. Really? Think about the percentage of Americans that are obese. Well, that's what I'm saying. Do you And think, on a budget. Like, but <laughs> the budget, Jesus God, this is. Fucking $12 of Hershey Kisses. 330 pieces. 
motherfucker, if I ate 330 pieces of chocolate, I wouldn't be feeling too good about myself. My dick, I wouldn't see it anymore. For the basic white bitches of the house. This is not ridiculous. Look at this. This is the amount of fucking sweets. Oh my god. Strawberry. How many times do you buy grapes without tasting them and go home and they're soft and taste like shit? You gotta try. Mm. I don't like the way they look. They look good. Oh man. Frozen go-gurts. Kids are picky. Gotta make sure you get what they like or they won't fucking eat it. Over there is where I used to live. Tilapia, cod. That was my life. Might be one day again. Not right now though. Egg whites. So, <clears throat> the egg whites. This is a big reason I come to Sam's. Liquid egg whites are great for making whenever you're starting to, uh, whenever you make shakes. You can use those in place of water so you don't use as much protein powder. Um, and it's just a way quick to get uh, quality protein in. Uh, three tablespoons, 25 calories, five grams of protein. So there's fit by, uh, about 59 servings. So if you got 60, you pretty much have 60 eggs in here. 60 eggs for nine bucks. It's not a bad fucking deal. Great way to throw in extra uh, quality protein into your protein shakes. And for moms and parents out there, that with farm fed is great high quality uh, shake for your kids in the morning if you have trouble getting to eat breakfast or getting them to eat throughout the day, great way to add calories. Cereals are another hot commodity in the house. I like Raisin Bran. I usually, I'll do it uh, like for my last meal or late night snack with, uh, some other cereals, mix it in there with some oats and my protein powder. Mix it up, it makes a great meal. Take like cereal, like whenever you're a kid, but it's good for gaining mass, not whenever you're trying to cut weight, it won't work. The fuck is that? Pop tarts. Pop tarts are huge. Everybody loves pop tarts. High calorie, they will make you chubby. Mm hmm. People seem to love them. I, I can't say I don't enjoy them. They used to be like, I mean, in college, I ate the fuck out of them. That would attest to putting on the size. Post-workout, eat Pop-Tarts. Get baked, eat Pop-Tarts. Wake up in the morning, eat Pop-Tarts. Kids love the snack packs. $14. So, me, I use the Ziploc gallon freezer bags. So when I'm marinating my chicken, I have to tenderize the chicken whenever you're, before you cook it. Bob always busts my balls because I, he feels like I trust Ziploc way too much. It's like a fucking commercial. I'm like, look, zip it in the freezer bags. It's just the freezer bags. They're thicker, they have a better zip on them, but he thinks they're gonna break. He uses shitty, they're not Ziplocs. He uses the shitty version of them. Go with this, I trust him every time. So this is gonna be a gift. At Sam's Club, they're way cheaper too. You buy this shit at Walmart or your local grocery store, crazy expensive. It's worth it. Because then, I think one of the big pet peeves for me is whenever I'm going and I'm cleaning, I got fucking, you know, 50 pounds of chicken to clean, and then I don't have enough Ziplocs, really gonna jerk me off. So that's pet peeve, gotta have Ziplocs. This is another snack that I use to help keep the calories up and eat. Um, great for the taste buds and a little bit of a sweet tooth. Trail mix. However, I can't open this when Bob's here. Bob's not allowed to have tree nuts, otherwise he'll die. So I gotta hide it. 
tell you what, if that cocksucker gets on my bed, so I don't hide knees in his bed. Dead. <laughs> And then I'm going to do what every single grown man does every time they go to the grocery store and snack on something. 